Hello, my name's Steve from Statistics Fix, and in this video today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to replace the gears in the side brush motor of the Eufy Robovac. Now, this Robovac is a 30C, uh, but the same applies to the 11, the 11C, the 15C, and the 11S. This is quite a common problem with the Eufy Robovac. If your side brush motors are not spinning correctly, or they're making a sort of ratcheting sound when spinning, uh, chances are that the teeth have, have stripped on the side brush motor. Um, so what you need is this kit to uh, to repair that. These are made from a stronger material, uh, it's more hard wearing, it will last longer. Um, replacement is very very simple, you literally only need what you can see here, um, screwdriver, for taking the, uh, the, the Robovac apart um, and a toothpick which is my weapon of choice for applying the silicon grease to the uh, to the gears that's really it as long as you know how to hold a screwdriver you should be a, you know you should have no problems with this demonstration of the problem so here we have our Eufy Robovac 30C now this has a problem with one of the side brushes. I'll just demonstrate. As you can hear, it's making a an awful noise. And if we just flip it over, yeah, there's no there's no sound with this one. Just rotating as you would expect it to. Now listen to this one. Now the chances are the gears in there. Uh, some of the teeth have broken off or have worn down, which is what is creating that clicking. Now this is the kit. The kit contains uh, two gears, which is sufficient to repair one side brush motor. Uh, if you need to repair both side brushes, then you're obviously going to need to order two of these. This bag has the two gears in, it also has an amount of silicon grease so I'll just open this up just to see what we've got. So we've got the two gears and then the grease is inside there. Now naturally the grease will have uh, spread on these gears sort of in transit and whilst they've been in the bag. What I'm going to use is just a little toothpick just to take some of the silicon grease out of the bag and just spread it around on the teeth and through the bore holes uh, and any of the running surfaces uh, in the motor. Taking the Robovac apart. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to switch it off. Just flip it over, switch on the back. And we can take out the dust caddy. Take off the rolling brush. And just pop off the two side brushes. Now we've got eight screws securing the bumper, four on each side. So we'll take those out. And this is, sorry, this is just a Phillips head screwdriver. As you can see, it's a very basic screwdriver, uh, but that's all you need. Then we need to remove these two screws under the rolling brush. Now these screws are a slightly different size, so make sure you don't get these mixed up with the first ones you took out. Okay, once they're out, we've got eight more screws to remove, um, which are the, the main body. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and again, same screwdriver.
Okay, and once all those screws are out, you can uh, remove the lid. And you've got to be careful when removing the lid not to damage the power button switch, which is here. So you just need to unconnect, disconnect, because unconnect isn't a word. And put that to one side. Yours will probably have some fluff in it as well, don't worry about that. Once we've done that, we can unplug the side motor. Now this is the one that I'm going to be looking at. So we'll just unplug that from the board. Give it a gentle tug and it should pop out. And we've got three screws which are securing the PCP down. We've got one here, here and here. Just remove those three. We've got a, looks like a Ferrero Rocher wrapper or something. It's a good opportunity to give this a clean while you're in here as well. So while you're, um, if you are repairing the the gears, you know you might as well give it a clean inside. You would never have expected a Ferrero Rocher wrapper to be in there, would you? I want to just lift the PCB up slightly just to re remove the front sensors or the eyes from the bumper. And then we're just going to pull the bumper, lift it up, and just push it to one side slightly, like that. And then once you've done that, you can see we've got three screws now. We've got one here, we've got one here, and then we've got one here. So just remove those three screws. Again, same screwdriver, but make sure you keep the screws separate because they're a different size. And then this motor should now just pull out. Like so. And there it is. Stripping down the motor. So on the motor lid, we've got another three screws. So you just simply remove those. And then we can take this lid off somehow. There we go. You can see here there is a couple of teeth which have uh, which have obviously been stripped off. Now that's that's your problem right there. So we take those out. And then if we look at this one, right, so you can see where the teeth have snapped. So we've got one missing here, and one missing here, and also one missing there. So there's actually three, ah, there's the other one. There we go. So there's your three teeth that have, uh, that have snapped off. So we'll take that one, that one out. Unfortunately, there's nothing you can do with that. You've got to bin that. The motor is still fine. You can examine the teeth on that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that because that is stronger than the plastic that these gears are made from. Now, obviously, the replacement kit that you've bought is made from stronger material and it is going to, uh, is going to be more hard wearing. So this should not happen. So we'll just pop the replacement in. And we'll put some grease in and around. So we'll just take some grease from the from the packet. So what you're also going to need to do is you're going to need to take this metal plate off the original gear. So just the one Phillips screw on the top. And 
and that should just slide off and then again you can throw that one away take your new one slide the new plate on pop in the screw that's that done make sure you don't over tighten it and then we'll put some more the remaining grease from the bag we should put around here I mean it's already got loads of grease on it because it's been in the bag anyway but we might as well use everything that's in there the more the merrier and then you just simply push that back through there and now we just put it back together so pop the lid back on and pop your screws back in that's it you're done now it's just a case of, um, of putting everything back give that a bit of a spin everything's moving fine so that can go back in and then we'll give it a test so refitting is obviously um, a reversal of the disassembly a couple of things you need to make sure of I will I will do it now and I will fast forward through it and I'll, I'll just pause at the um, at the important bit so I'll get get onto that now reassembly This is where you need to be careful. You need to make sure that you put the bumper back, lift up the PCB, put the bumper back in the place, and then make sure that the sensors fit into the, the little holes in the, in the bumper. Also, don't forget to reconnect your motor. And obviously don't forget to plug in your power switch. Also make sure when you're putting the bumper back on that it still, it still bumps. There's a couple of springs inside here, you just need to make sure that they are seated correctly. So that it's still... That's it. Then you can go ahead and put the plastic trim back on. And that's it fully back together so now we can uh, just give it a quick test and just make sure that that's remedied the problem much better so that's it that's how easy it is thanks very much for watching uh, if it helped you out in any way, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe for more how-to and can I fix it videos. Thank you. Take care.